to save a breed of wolves from going extinct. I went to an extraordinary center where some hero veterinarians and caretakers have come up with an innovative way to help these wolves survive. They are among the most majestic creatures that roam our land. But wolves get a terrible rap. People are fearful of wolves. People in the wild, they, you know, they hear the wolves howling. And then there's also the conception or the misconception that the wolves are killing livestock out west. So a lot of the wolves become prey or yeah. killed by us because we think we that they're killing them. them. Right, exactly. So in the wild, they're just trying to do their job here on Earth as we are trying to do our own. And they have and an important job. Very important job. It is the reason veterinarian Dr. Charles Duffy volunteers his time to examine and treat these wild wolf pups, a breed on the brink of extinction. By the mid-1980s, that haunting yet beautiful howl that could be heard in so many parts of North America was completely silenced, deemed extinct by the U.S. government. But today, facilities like the Wolf Conservation Center, surprisingly just an hour outside of New York City, safely tucked away in a fenced-in forest, are changing that. Maggie Howell is the Hi. center's executive director. Why is it so important to have wolves roam this planet? Everything in nature is connected, and wolves is a keystone species. They're that keystone piece of Mother Nature's puzzle that holds everything in place. She's a little toddler. The center takes part in what is known as the species survival plan, using captive wolves to breed pups like these who live on the center's land as if they are in the wild, studied from afar by cameras, and treated only when absolutely necessary. So as we examine her, we're going to take a look at her skin, check for parasites, make sure her eyes are normal. What's the goal here? You'll keep her with you guys, get her adult and strong, mm -hmm. and then hopefully reintroduce her? Yeah. The plan, yes, every wolf ultimately you hope for reintroduction. She lives with her parents and her siblings from last year, so it's a multi-generational pack. And for a wolf to grow up in that sort of situation is, is, the, is ideal, especially for a wolf that could go back into the wild. The center is also working hard to change the perception of the big bad wolf. They use these four, ambassador wolves as they're called, raised by the center staff and used to educate the public. Visitors can come howl with them or tune into the 24-7 live stream that now has fans all over the world. But people are understanding that their families are seeing their personalities, rewilding their hearts and opening up to wolves. Here, buddy. Whoa, here you go, buddy. Go, Zephyr. Look at him. Wolfing down his food. He's, that is an accurate statement. Now that's an accurate, that's statement. An accurate statement. Wolfing <laughs> down his food. You are witnessing She's wolfing down food. Now we know where it came from. Today, the center has done its part in bringing the once extinct Mexican gray wolf population to over 113 in the U.S. It's not a lot, but it is a start. And it's making another expression, lone wolf, hopefully a thing of the past. Wow. Only 113, wow. and if you're in the New York area, you are welcome to go see these endangered creatures in person at the Wolf Conservation Center, open to the public Tuesdays through Sundays, offering a variety of programs, field trips, mm -hmm. overnights for kids and adults to educate them because there are only 113 of these Mexican gray wolves left. And, wow. uh, and the proceeds go somewhere, don't All they? All the proceeds go to the Wolf Conservation Center, and you can go to nywolf.org to help. They look I had like no dead idea. shepherds, but they are powerful. Yeah, well, yeah. absolutely. You saw me with Zephyr. And, and mm -hmm. there are, there's the big bad wolf, there's lone wolf, and then there's also wolfing down food. Yeah. So <laughs> I got to see that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.